Right, hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm excited because in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and giving my initial impressions on my new Truman boots in Ink Chiha. Now, I just released a video of my red Chiha boots that I just got in, and uh, I, I've actually had the Ink Chiha a little bit longer. I've actually been just trying to gather my thoughts on it because I'm so impressed by it. All this time, I was kind of, you know, I kind of held some of the more better known tanneries in such high regard. So when I get a new leather from a new tannery that I've never heard of, in this case, Seidel Tannery, um, I'm always very blown away. I'm always like um, trying to gather my thoughts because in a lot of ways, this leather reminds me of something from Charles F. Stead or from Horween. Seidel kind of prides themselves for offering a premium quality leather at a, at a dramatically reduced price. So. I think that's pretty cool. I Like I said, I'd never heard of Seidel until recently. Anyways, let's get into this. Let's start the unboxing process. Um, ooh, nice. So Truman included a very nice sticker. It says, harder wearing, lasting quality boots. Just call on Truman. Very, very nice. That'll be going up on my belt rack. And then Truman's nice new matches. I think the matches are cool. It says lasting quality on the back. Truman Boot Co. on the front made in Oregon on the side and then on the inside there's a picture of the dog the Truman dog so very nice touch by Truman here we have some gorgeous supple rawhide laces they smell so damn good when they're fresh out of the box these I can't I can't tell you how much I love these laces these are just my favorite laces on planet earth kudos to Truman for supplying us with yet another Outstanding pair of laces. Oh, this is a nice surprise. I didn't even ask for this, but Truman decided to throw in. Thank you guys at the Truman team. They threw in a nice Truman Boot Co. horsehair brush. Very awesome. Incredible. So that's very nice. Truman knows how to treat their high rollers. Let me tell you what. <laughs> no, seriously. Thank you, Truman. That's very kind of you. This will get a lot of use. I will use it exclusively on my Truman boots. And then without further ado, let's get this party started. Damn. Now, this leather is really interesting. This was how Truman ran this boot as a stock model. The smell of the leather is insane. I meant to mention this in my Red Chiha video that I just did recently which is that it kind of smells like they used a, possibly Truman did this, possibly sprayed it down with some sort of suede type protector. But then beyond that, as you smell, as, as you breathe it in more, you start to get more of almost a chrome XL type of a smell to it. It's got a cow, it's got that cowhide smell, but it also sort of has a vague reminiscent hint of chrome XL, I think. It's brilliant, it's beautiful. Smoking. Wow. Now, what's really cool about these and what kind of marks these apart from my other Truman boots is this is the first time I've gotten a pair of Trumans on this Honey Lug Commando sole. So, so it is a, it is a Vibram sole, and I think that Honey Lug looks really good with that lighter blue hue of these boots. So let me go over the details first. So we've got plain toe, we've got 79 last structured toe, We've got antique brass eyelets here, five eyes, two speed hooks here. Again, we have the Honey Lug Commando Sole, beautiful. 270 degree Goodyear welt with a storm welt with a 270 degree storm welt as well. The storm welt doesn't go all around the perimeter of the, the boot, it, it stops here. So the heel does not have the storm welt. We've got a full grain leather midsole, and then obviously the Vibram outsole. Beautiful. Plain toe allows the leather to fully express itself. The stitching on the bottom there. You can see the 270 degree stitching there on the bottom. And then, so there was some back and forth, and especially I'm in a group, I'm in a chat 
with some other Truman addicts, including Adam Graham, including Lauren Cook Kelly, uh, you might know her as Inked Boots, including One Damn Eight Envision, JD, as well as my buddy JP, JP's Boots. We all get together, we, we talk about Truman Boots a lot, and, and other boots, Indonesian Boots. And there was some back and forth, actually, in our group discussion, because we couldn't figure out whether we liked the rough out side of the leather or the smooth out side. So here on the tongue, we've got smooth out ink chiha and then rough out ink chiha on the upper. So you can see the contrast there and I'll get some outside shots so you can really see the difference. But Adam Grimm actually said that his ink chiha smooth outs were some of the nicest blue boots he's ever owned. And I have to agree, like I love the rough out side, but the smooth out surprisingly has so much depth, so much character. It's so smooth and waxy to the touch. It's it's a very nice leather. I love it. It is it's incredible. Adam Grimm, he, he takes it to the next level. Sometimes he'll order the same leather twice in just two different builds. So he'll do like, for example, so yes, he got two pairs. Okay, so his other pair of ink chiha. So yeah, it looks like Adam Grimm went for the stock options on his ink chiha smooth out which included cap toe, standard, remove, pull, brown stitching, matching tongue, five eyelets, two speed hooks, antique brass hardware, structured toe box, 270 degree flat Goodyear welt, and commando sole. So yeah, so he has both. Adam Grimm, he's, he's awesome. He's passionate about this stuff and he's unabashedly passionate about it. Like I try to be unabashedly passionate about it, but I'm still, you know, a little conservative. But this guy, man, he's he puts the pedal to the metal when it comes to getting leather. He does not mess around. He get when he sees something he likes, he goes for it. He'll he'll order it twice. You know what I mean? I think that's so cool. So I can resonate with that a lot. <laughs> but yeah, he's a fellow boot addict like myself. So so him and I have a lot in common. So shout out to Adam Grimm. Adam Grimm is the man. Um. So yeah. So this Chiha leather really does just blow me away. So let me read a little bit from the. Uh, from the website. So on the Truman Boots site it says, Ink Chiha. This cowhide leather is a deep navy blue tone reminiscent of antique ink wells. Loaded with oils and waxes, Ink Chiha possesses an impressive pull-up and particularly waxy finish that separates it from the rest. The tannery, Seidel Tannery from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. With 75 years in the leather business, Seidel is one of the largest producers of high quality leather in the United States. They are a fourth generation family owned business with a commitment to excellence and environmental sustainability. Amazing. And so as far as the word chiha goes as well, I was very intrigued by that word because I'd never heard the word chiha before. So I actually had to do some digging and I covered this in my red chiha boot review, but I think it's worth repeating because um, I'm all about, I love etymology, I love terminology, I love knowing like the in inspiration that went behind things. You know, I, I like stories, so, <laughs> so chiha, is the tallest mountain in Alabama. It's located in Clay County. It's derived from the Choctaw word Chaha, which means high. So there is a Chiha State Park in Alabama named after the mountain. And Chiha gets its name from the Choctaw word, which is an indigenous word meaning high. Actually, I wanted to mention this about Adam Grimm. He has a lot of insights and he catches a lot of things that I don't necessarily because he's, we all look at different leathers and. Each individual, this is what I love about leather, is each individual, it's kind of like art. You can look at a painting and see different things. Well, in the same case, you know, each of us can look at a leather and see different things. And that's why talking about leather, I think, is so much fun and important because it makes you appreciate it more the more you hear other people's perspectives. I don't consider myself the end all be all. <laughs> I, 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 part of the fun for me is the social interaction and hearing what other people think. And actually, there was something that I meant to bring up during my last video on the Red Chiha, so I'm gonna talk about that now. So what Adam Grimm says about the Red Chiha, he says, the leather takes on a purple slash magenta tone in the shade and more of a red tone in the sun. I think that's interesting and that's true. It looks completely different in direct sunlight compared to when it's in the shade. So yeah, and he got his Red Chiha on the Honey Lug Commando Soul. That looks really good. Okay, so now back to the topic of ink chiha. I know I praise a lot of brands that I love in the videos that I do, but I do kind of want to sometimes point out a negative flaw here and there, just to sort of counterbalance all the uh, enthusiasm and positivity because 
you know, I don't want to come off like I'm just zany happy no matter what I get. There, there are some things sometimes that I like to point out, and this isn't necessarily to criticize or, you know, to point blame or anything, but um, just things that I like to point out to show that I'm still objective. <laughs> so, no, this is not something that I care about at all. But I notice on this Honey Lug Commando Soul, there's like some sort of oil or some sort of glue or something stuck to the outside. Um, I think that's cool, personally. I like seeing minor flaws. It shows me that this stuff is handmade. It reminds me that the item has a soul, a an actual soul, not a not a boot soul, but a but a you know a real soul. The other boot doesn't have that, or actually it does. Right on the outside, I see I see some more, just sort of glue. But actually, it, or or oil or something. It's yeah, I think it's a glue. But actually, you know, what's funny is I think it actually kind of complements the look of the boot. It actually, as much as it probably isn't supposed to be there, it actually looks good because it it goes with the colorway. It it, it complements. Yeah, it complements the look of the boot. It complements the honey-colored sole. Hell yeah. And then so I need to order some more laces from Guarded Goods um, because I feel like these would look really good with some navy rawhides in them. Maybe some tan even to complement that honey lug sole. And then here's something else that I wanted to start doing. I wanted to start, when I introduce a new pair of boots or when I talk about a new pair of boots, I want to start showing what belts I plan to wear with the boots. Now this isn't to say that I'm not gonna put on the boots and then suddenly find myself opting for another belt and I actually kick myself because in my recent video where I talked about my new Grant Stone boots in Storm Suede, which are kind of close actually in aesthetic to these Truman boots in <laughs> in Ink Chiha Rafa. They're, they're sort of similar in some ways, you see. Um, the color is different though. The Ink Chiha is more of a vibrant blue Whereas the storm suede falls right between like a cobalt blue and a slate gray, I would say. But regardless, I'll probably pair these up with the same belts. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kind of show the belts that I would wear with these. First up, this is my Nobleman's Apothecary belt. This is, this is the Knight Rider belt. This leather is sourced from Wicket and Craig. It is a navy bridal leather. Yeah, it's a vegetable tanned navy bridle leather and uh, I actually play around with this buckle. I, I like to, I, I've actually learned how to um, undo the screws here and swap, the, turn the buckle around. So right now I have it with the smooth side out and that actually matches the aesthetic of, I think, the tongue of the Ink Chiha very nicely. But I'm probably going to switch it back to the rough outside being on the outside to go with the Ink Chiha rough outside. So I think the Ink Chiha complements the rough outside very, very nicely. But again, either either side would work with this belt. E either either way would work. I would wear it either way. Um, and then I would also obviously wear this belt with these Storm Suede Grant Stone Diesel Boots. I think the rough outside would look better, but this is my Noble Men's Apothecary belt called the Wiz. Now this is a one out of one edition, and this is in a gray chrome tanned leather and yes i would wear this i would wear these storm suede grant stones with this belt i think i think gray and the bluish gray hue complement each other very nicely and i would also wear this belt with these boots as well the ink chiha i think first off that the the gray leather in the whiz really complements the hardware of the brass, the antique brass. I think it. I think it goes together. Even though this is a, uh, a stainless steel buckle, um, I think the hardware still complements one another. And I, and this isn't. In this case, I'm not matching the boots to the belt. I'm actually complementing them to one another. So the boots complement the belt. If that makes sense. It's not that the colors are exact. It's that they, they marry up and they complement one another. They play off one another very well. So. That's why I would choose this belt with either of these two boots. And then, this should be of no surprise to no one, my Fidgen Tree Crafting belt in Navy Sedgwick. I would also wear this with either boot. Um, I don't have to tell you that this, Navy, this Sedgwick leather is so supple, so smooth, so waxy, so luxurious. This would go well with either Storm Suede or with Ink Chiha, both the smooth out and the rough out, obviously. Obviously, it's 
This is a, a more of a true navy color compared to these, um, but I think it still works very well with both. Again, not looking to match, but to complement. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I am on Instagram, you can follow me there. My username is LV. And anyways, please let me know what you think in the comments below of these new boots. How would you rock these? What kind of pants would you wear these with? I'm kind of at a loss for how to how to rock these. I mean, I, I have a few ideas, but, but we'll see. What do you think of the new Chiha leather? What do you think about the Seidel tannery? I'm impressed. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys and I will see y'all in my next video.